Hi, I'm Christine with Torrance City Cable. As we celebrate Black History Month, I want to introduce you to a place that's very special to me, especially during this pandemic. If you're like me, you may be feeling anxious or wound up because of COVID-19. Well, golfing helps to release a lot of my stress, whether it's at Alondra or just a few miles outside of Torrance, right here at Chester, Washington. It was a place where black Americans could go play golf when they weren't allowed anywhere else. In the 50s, there was a lot of civil rights activists who golfed here and were denied access uh, to some of the golf clubs here. So they brought civil action against uh, the Los Angeles County, went all the way up to the Supreme Court because of their actions and, and, and their involvement in this course. Uh, they had to desegregate all of Los Angeles County uh, properties uh, because of what happened here at Chester, Washington. The driving range blasts Motown tunes, and a diverse group of regulars greet me with smiles when I'm here. These are the vibes of Chester Washington Golf Course today, just eight miles north of Torrance City Hall. These are accomplished black women you should know. Phyllis Wheatley was the first African-American poet to publish a book. I come here every day, and throughout February, I notice something new happening over the loudspeaker. Chester Washington is a place that's known to be a haven for the African-American community. It's Black History Month, so I decided I would just uh, look up some facts and, and, uh, and achievements from African Americans and, and use the microphone and, and just talk about it over the microphone every day. The first bank president, Maggie Lena Mitchell, daughter of a former slave, went to public schools in Richmond, Virginia, became a teacher and established a newspaper before founding the St. Luke Penny Savings Bank in 1903. I focused on just achievements. Let's find people that did something who are African American. Some of them are known, others aren't, but let's just make it a positive achievement related uh, spiel. It's hard not to notice Chuck's passion for sharing special facts about black history. Sometimes he literally wears it on his back. So I had this jersey custom made. He was one of my favorite players when I was growing up. His efforts led to everybody being able to be a free agent, choose where you want to play when your contract is up, and now everybody makes tons of money all due to Kurt Flood and the fact that he said, I don't want to be treated like a slave and I need to be able to choose where I want to be employed. Chuck's simple yet bold actions speak volumes to those like myself who really appreciate learning something new every time we step onto the golf course. I think all ethnic groups can appreciate the information if they allow themselves to listen. It could make a difference in the way we go about our daily lives. Chuck says it's also important to take what he learns back home. I have 16 grandkids ranging in age from 2 to 23. Every family has information that they pass on from generation to generation. It's important that somebody tells the story of what happens before you came. As February comes to an end, I'll miss Chuck's special announcements, and so will the course's general manager, Brian Carrico. I learn every day from him. He finds, you know, deep, deep historical facts that probably nobody knew that <laughs> that existed that that you know he shares with everybody he hopes chuck's efforts last beyond black history month and remind everyone of how important celebrating diversity is year round just having that vibe and that feeling of community and unity is is what makes this place great and you know we're going to continue to you know embrace that until you know until we don't exist anymore <laughs> which is never cuz we're a historical landmark in los angeles i'm christine lee Thank you.